is consciousness. Consciousness is that temporal activity of the mind. Temporal things that stores in your mind that eventually becomes the permanent line of action or line of duty or line of activity for such a person. So whatever you have stored in your consciousness becomes you eventually. You decide to live a purified life and then to back up your decision, you must work on your consciousness and your conscience. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Purity Series. It's so nice to have you again. My name is Adegbe Grace Mercy. Thank you so much for always watching the Purity Series. God bless you. And so we're still on the series Walking in Purity. And for this week, we'll be talking about the seal. What is the seal? The seal is a device that is used to join two things together to ensure it is permanently joined and there is ownership involved in it. The seal is used to indicate ownership and also protection. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 22, the Bible says, Who had sealed us and given the earnest of the Spirit in our heart. So the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 22 that the Lord has sealed us. And then he has put that permanent stamp, that indication that we are joined. That's why the Bible says that he who is joined to the Lord is one. Is one with the Lord so the seal is a permanent stamp by the help of the Holy Spirit in our heart joining us together with the Lord and so how will the seal help us walk in purity the seal will help us walk in purity when we recognize and acknowledge that the Lord has put a stamp in our heart the Lord has put a medium a device in our heart and one of the device that I would like to talk about is the seal of the Word of God by studying meditation and confession the seal of the Word of God the Bible says your word have I eat in my heart that I might not sin against you so hiding the Word of God is a seal upon your heart that's why the bible says he has given us the earnest of the spirit so whatever the spirit is crying out for whatever the spirit is longing for whatever the spirit desires whatever the spirit thirsts for is what we ourselves would thirst for that's why the bible also says blessed are they who thirst and hunger for righteousness and so righteousness is the heavenly thirst righteousness is something that the evil is thirst and hunger for and so you as a person called into the kingdom of god would also thirst and hunger for righteousness you know a person who is led by the spirit of god is called the son of god and so you cannot be a son of god and bring out another nature outside the nature of god so what am i trying to explain to us the seal of the word of god by studying meditation and confession you study the word of god you imprint something upon your heart you study the word of god you do not only stop by studying you go on to meditation meditation is the deeper sinking of the knowledge of the word of god when you sink in deeper than you have studied is meditation and then you do not only stop at meditation you go on to confession because you confess and you see what you confess so you confess that god has called you out of uncleanliness and he has called you into holiness you confess that you are the righteousness of god in christ jesus you confess all the promises of god God. this is how you can walk in purity and the last seal I would like to talk about is the seal of the blood of Jesus the Bible says in Revelation that we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony the word of our testimony explains further confession you keep confessing what the Lord has said concerning your life the things that be not you call them forth and you begin to see them as an experience as manifestation in your life and so the seal of the blood of Jesus 
by acceptance and by proclamation you accept the seal of the blood of Jesus how do you accept this is by salvation the Bible says that he has come to wash away the sins of mankind by his blood by the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary he washed away all the sins of mankind and so if you accept that the seal of the blood of Jesus the blood of the Lamb works and can make you purified you would see yourself walking in purity so walking in purity you need a seal to be stamped upon your heart you need a seal the annex of the spirit by the word of God and by the blood of Jesus thank you so much for watching the purity series this week God bless you